uh, Druggieville hives. Uh, at the moment, we have 20 hives uh, installed into the building. 15 are active and we have room for six more and a row across the top of Zeus. My mother and I did the paint job on these hives. Uh, there's a tutorial on it. There's a tutorial on our blog, uh, basically just giving a brief description of what all we did. Um, but it's got this colorful rainbow geometric thing going on and I like it. So. All right, let's uh, go inside. Well, here we are inside the bee house. These are some of the hives that are occupied. Packages that were put in a few weeks ago. A swarm that we caught. Another a package over here. And a swarm that we caught at the end of March up in that hive right there. These are some of the overwintered hives. And we can open them up and you can see that while this isn't a real inspection, and we've gotten a lot of jokes about that, this is a way to tell at least if you have a lot of bees and whether they're busy. The smell is probably the best part. Some of the features of the bee house itself include storage. Eventually, these spare frames will be replaced by a row of nukes, which Kylie mentioned. We have buckets that are stored way up high in the ceiling on the ledge that the overhang forms from outside. And up in the middle of the roof, we have an escape hatch where the bees that do get loose in here when we're doing an inspection or harvesting honey, they can escape out through that hatch or out through the open door. This is where we do our uncapping for when we're extracting our honey. As you can see, it's right behind where the hives were just a minute ago. Uh, we've got full uncapping sinks so two people can work at a time. We often have guests over to extract their honey or we have a bee club meetings and it's a whole event when we extract honey. So we've got our sink with uh, cold and warm water with a little uh, spray thingy on there. Uh, we've got our uncapping nails with our uh, strainers underneath for the wax. We've got our buckets under here uh, with um, drains that will catch any extra honey that we have. That's usually our fee when we have people come over. We just uh, keep whatever the uncapping sinks hold and whatever is in the bottom of the extractor by the end of the day. This is our extractor. It'll hold 18 of our uh, Langstroth deep frames and 39 medium and shallow frames. Uh, it's electronic. There's this little power box thing we can set on time, speeds. It'll go left, it'll go right, it'll stop, it'll switch, it'll do all that fanciness. So we can all just go outside and uh, have our lunch while that's doing. Over here we have our bucket warmer which grandpa crafted himself. We use it usually to warm up our buckets or if we have some bottles that have crystallized, we'll put them in there for a little bit. All right. We also have some art that our friend Josh has made uh, with a wood burner. This is basically just our honey label. We gave him a very tiny honey label like that and he just uh, blew it up to the size using just his head. He didn't map it out or do any of that. Uh, he, he does a lot of these little wood burnings for us. We have a couple of other items spread out around our house, but here's one very small bee wood burning that he did. And then over here we have our um, GBA flag hanging up nice and proud. And then we've got our little souvenir from when we went to Galveston, Texas for the ABF conference, uh, that's our little banner that had it hanging in the presentation. This is the hive, of course, but let me show you some of the accessories. When you take a frame out and you want to just put it somewhere, we have this floor stand, we call it. It's actually possible to remove all 10 frames from an entire chamber, reconstruct them in the floor stand if you want to do some cleaning, or if you're looking for the queen and you really need to isolate the frames that you've already looked at. Another key and a very important part of the work uh, operation in here is what we call a work table. This just fits underneath the metal rod which supports the windows and provides an extension of the floor so that you can shake off bees, you can rest your hive tool, and you can use it for whatever is convenient. We also have some storage. These we use for when we're extracting honey. We pull from the boxes, uh, put them in the floor rack, brush the bees off, do all that jazz, stick them in these uh, for a few hours or even overnight and then we're ready to extract. Over here we have another shelf with more storage uh, and mostly just hardware. We've got um, extra bottles, extra caps, labels, 
um, old bottles of our honey, other people's honey. Uh, we've got our this dehumidifier, uh, which we don't really typically use anymore because our honey is so thick. And then we've got our uh, air conditioner, not extractor, <laughs> air conditioner. Uh, which we usually just use for the humans when we're doing our extracting or we're in here for long periods of, of time. Uh, it's not so much for the bees as us. Well, that's our little tour of our Jubbyville Bee House. <laughs>